It's the most wonderful time of the year, and uh, I got a little bit of a wish list. What is up, Finn fans? Little special Christmas themed video for you guys. It is Christmas Eve. Um, hope you guys are having a fantastic Christmas. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas, hol happy holidays, all that good stuff. I'll get into all the mushy stuff towards the end of the video. So if you want to stick around for me being mushy and wishing happy holidays and all that good stuff, that'll be at the end of the video. Because I tend to get a little mushy because I do appreciate the heck out of every single one of you guys. Especially my Twitter followers, you guys, you know, even the people who follow me on Instagram. I never post on Instagram. I do have a TikTok. You guys love y'all. So what I do every year around this time of the year um, I normally release this on Christmas, but usually Christmas isn't on Sunday and the Dolphins don't play on that day. So I'm able to release my Christmas special video on Christmas. But being the fact that the Dolphins play on Christmas, I thought, let's release it on Christmas Eve. So essentially what this is, is the Dolphins wish list to Santa Claus. Essentially asking for things for this year, maybe things for the future things to build off of, all that good stuff. I have a list here, about six. If I think of any more while making the video, I might throw them in there. But without further ado, let's jump into this video. Let's cue the music. Let's cue the snow. And let's get to this wish list. So, to Santa Claus from the Miami Dolphins, what, we're, what they're wishing for the playoffs. Miami Dolphins right now, three games away, three, two wins away from making it to the playoffs. We've been to the playoffs in 2008. We've been to the playoffs in 2016. Let's get to the playoffs again. First time with Mike McDaniel. This is an opportunity where the Dolphins control their own destiny and they just need to win. They just need to win the next two games. Let's take those adv that, that advantage, those that situation Let's win. Let's get to the playoffs. But also, if we're going to get to the playoffs, let's do something that the Miami Dolphins haven't done in about 21 years. And that's the next thing on this Christmas wish list, and that is a playoff win. It's been a very long time, and the Dolphins really, really need a playoff win. It's like, you know, when you were younger, and you got socks, and you got underwear. You got all that stuff, and you'd always look at it and go, ugh. You want the toys. You want the video games. You want the cash. But the older you get, all of a sudden you realize you need those socks. And then all of a sudden, when when Santa brings you those socks, you're happy because you need that. Well, the playoff win for the Dolphins is those socks that they desperately needed. Because th they've been walking around in those socks with the holes in them. And the toes and the heels, all that stuff. So we need a playoff win. The next thing on this Christmas wish list to Santa Claus, a well-rounded team. Now, for for so very long, the Dolphins have a very good offense or very good defense, and then a bad, and it's not even like an average, they have a bad offense or defense. It's never been well-rounded. You can go back to the early 2000s, even when we had Ricky, the offense was meh, but the defense was so dominant. Even after that, we had such a dominant defense. Cameron Wake and, you know, Jason Taylor, Zach Thomas, obviously not all at the same time. Patrick Tan, Sam Madison, just even when we had Junior Seau and Joey Porter and all that stuff, we had such a dominant defense, dominant defense, dominant defense, and then the offense was just there. The defense was carrying the offense constantly, just carrying the offense. And now, and even in 2016, we have such a dominant offense, right? We have an offense that's, what, ninth in points, fifth in yards, and our defense is bottom tier in stopping people, bottom tier in, in all that stuff. So that's, that's something on this wish list. A well-rounded team where we have either a dominant offense and a good defense, right? I don't need dominant and dominant, I just need a good one. Or a dominant defense and a good offense. You know, let me a 15th ranked offense, but give me a top 10 defense. We're gonna be a top 10 offense and about a 15th ranked defense. Let's have let's have that. A well-rounded team. The next thing on this Christmas wish list, a healthy team. Please. 
a healthy team. Yeah. We got decimated with injuries this year, and it was in such a, a finite area of this team in the secondary. And it's so funny, going into this season, we were like, oh, it's offense have one of the best secondaries in Byron Jones, and Xavier Howard, Javon Holland, Brandon Jones, Nick Needham. They got a very good team in that secondary. And all of a sudden, Cater Co., whose name starts popping up, Trill Williams' name starts popping up. Byron's injured. He's doing his thing on the sideline. All of a sudden, we're like, now nah, we still we still might be good. Nick Needham, Trill Williams, Cater Co., who we uh, oh, when we go out and get Alexander, oh, okay, this team might be good. Nick Needham goes down. Trill Williams goes down. <laughs> Parenton Jones goes down. Alexander goes down. It's like, can we can we get a break here? So a healthy team right a healthy team especially you know Teron Armstead dealing with injuries Austin Jackson even when before he got injured he was he was actually doing pretty well he's dealing with injuries we got so many one after the other after the other injury 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 so a healthy team that's that's on this wish list if not just for the end of this year into the playoffs but for next season can we get a better more healthy team another thing speaking of healthy team on this wish list depth now you know cater's showing up he's doing his thing but it's like bethel's man crossing huh obviously noah huh there's real no depth even the offensive line when teron armstead went down when austin jackson went down it was bad it was real bad we need depth especially in the trenches and especially in areas that are the, the backbone of the team. So that's on the wish list. Depth. Another thing on this wish list. Elite quarterback play. Now I'm not saying anything bad about two. Because I know all of a sudden people are going to come rushing in. What are you trying to say about it? I'm not saying anything bad. But elite quarterback play. Constant elite quarterback play. Well, that's a that's an area. That's a that's a position on the team. You just don't got to worry about. Elite quarterback play. Now yeah. Two has had his bad games. To me, the the way I equate it, right, a lot of people look at the uh, Steelers game, they look at the uh, Patriots game, and they think those are bad games. I don't think those are bad games. I think they're good games, right? Then you look at the Browns, the Lions, the Bears game, those are elite games. Even the Ravens game, a lot of people look at the Ravens game, it was just one quarter. It was a half of two just playing lights out. The Bills game, I think he had a very, he had a good Bills game, right? Both Bills games... He was good. He was elite against the Ravens. He was elite against the Bears, the Lions, the Browns. Tua was elite in those four games. In the other games, he was good. And then some games, he was bad. So, elite across the board. Whether from Tua, whether from anyone. I think the Dolphins are really wishing for that elite quarterback play. This is an NFL right now where you need that. And Tua showed he could do it, right? You know, he did it against bad teams. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to ignore it. He's shown he can do it. He's shown he, in clutch situations, in crunch time, when he needs to put the team on his back, he'll go out there and he'll throw four touchdowns in a quarter. He'll go out there and make a throw on third and 22. He'll go out there and he'll be in a shootout against the Bears, against the Lions, where he's constantly having to either come back or keep up because the defense can't. He's shown he can do it. Just kind of do it consistently elite across the board or just in general so elite quarterback play that's on the Dolphins wish list another thing on the Dolphins wish list and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to be agreeing with this a lot of you guys are going to be agreeing with this on the Dolphins wish list are you noticing a trend in what I'm wearing are you noticing my hat and my hoodie now I didn't do this on purpose this is one of my favorite hats, and this is one of my favorite hoodies. It's a pullover. It's super comfortable. In the link, Fanatics. In the link, Fanatics. Check it out. Use the link. I think there's a huge sale going on right now. But I'm pretty sure us as fans on our wish list is to make these throwbacks permanent. We've seen them once all year against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's it. Now... We've played home games. We've played two home games since against the Browns and the Texans. They're not going to use those throwbacks against the Browns and the Texans. 
They ain't gonna play be using the throwbacks tomorrow uh tomorrow against the Green Bay Packers. So that means that they're gonna be using the throwbacks against the Jets in the final week of the season. Which means from Sunday night football on October twenty third until week eighteen, which is either the seventh or the eighth, they, it, you know, it has the schedule hasn't been predicted yet at that point. No throwbacks. A lot of us want them to make it permanent. Um they look, in my opinion, they look better than what the Dolphins have now. Uh, if I was the decision maker on this, I'd have the these be the permanents, and I'd have the throwbacks be the 90s, early 2000s logo. The one that I like, that a lot of people don't like. Um, that's what I would do, but that's on there. That's, a, that's on the wish list, and I feel like that's on the wish list. Not only from fans, but from players, from coaches. They've been saying, yeah, I prefer the, the throwbacks to be permanent. And the final thing I got on this wish list to Santa Claus from the Miami Dolphins, from the Miami Dolphin fans, from the Miami Dolphin Ring of Honors, from everyone and anyone associated with this team, a Super Bowl. It has been a very, very long time since the Dolphins have been to a Super Bowl. Now, it hasn't been that long. It's been since the 90s, since they sniffed the chance of being a Super Bowl, getting to the AFC Championship game. But it's been a long time since the Dolphins been to a Super Bowl, let alone won one. It's been the 70s since they've won one, and it's been the 85 since they've been to one. I think it was 85 um, against the 49ers. A Super Bowl. I think all of us, like I said, not only fans, but in the organization, retired players, Ring of Honor, Hall of Famers, would love for the Miami Dolphins to flip and win a Super Bowl. But that's my thoughts on the wish list to Santa from the Miami Dolphins organization and a little bit from us fans. Comment below if I missed anything, something that you are wishing for the Dolphins as a fan or from the organization, comment it below. But that's the video, that's the special that I got for you guys today. Again, here comes the mushy part. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic and safe and healthy uh, holiday, regardless of what you celebrate, whether Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever it is, I hope you guys have a fantastic, healthy, and happy holiday. Um, it's cold. There's, a, there's an Arctic blast happening right now. As of me recording this, it's about six degrees. Um, it's going to be 28 degrees tomorrow on Christmas. It's going to be cold. Ho stay safe, especially if you're in those areas getting really hit by that cold during the negative areas. Stay safe. Make sure your water stays running. Hope you guys stay safe and healthy. Hope you guys get a lot of cool things for Christmas. I will show you if I get anything dolphins for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I love making these videos. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, I love what I do on this channel. So the fact that you guys are sharing it, hitting the subscribe button, and we're getting closer and closer to 40,000 subscribers is a flipping fantastic. So hope you guys have an awesome, happy holiday. Let's get this W tomorrow. I will see you guys tomorrow after the game. Again, I'm not live streaming tomorrow. Enjoy the time with your family. Watch the game. Cheer for these Dolphins. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully after a Dolphin victory. But like usual, stay classy. Happy holidays. Our friends up.